FML, would you rather? And it works like this. We'll ask a uh, would you rather question to, in this case, Michelle. Actually, three. And it's up for you, to you to guess whether or not what Michelle would rather do. For example, Michelle, would you rather do without toilet paper for the rest of your life or toothpaste? For the rest of your life. Dusty, what do you think? I think that Michelle is um, kind of pragmatic, and so I think she would say she'd rather do that toilet paper because she could wipe with a rock or something else, and I think toothpaste would be the thing she wouldn't want to do without. So toilet paper. I don't think Michelle wipes, period. I don't think she poops. (laughs) What do you think, Michelle? I I poop in a shower. He's correct! I'm correct! And that's exactly what I thought. I was like, I could wipe with other things. I'm going to (laughs) taste makers. Who is our contestant, Dusty the Waiter? We have uh, Ken calling us from Taylorsville. Think you can get inside my head, Ken? Uh, You're a woman, no. Uh, Good answer. Well, good luck to you then. (laughs) Still got a 50 50 shot, I suppose. But I'm a bizarre woman. We'll see. All right. Um, Ken, you only have to get one right here, guessing whether or not what Michelle would rather do. And first question, would uh, Michelle rather have clean socks or clean underwear? If she could only have one, clean socks or clean underwear, which would Michelle rather have? Clean underwear. And why do you say that? Uh, I don't know. It just sounds like a woman thing that uh, they like to have clean, crisp, everything. Okay. Which would you rather have, socks or underwear? Uh, Underwear. Yeah, I agree with you. You are correct. (laughs) Clean underwear. Because that's where my butt lives. I want it to be clean. <laughs> I a little, can a little more dirtier than your feet, right? Yeah, whatever. I, I wear the same socks for like a week. <laughs> See, I can go without underwear. Yeah, okay. Oh no! And I'll let you guess whether or not I'm wearing it right now. But but I... socks I have to wear because I have sweaty feet. No, hmm. going commando makes me uncomfortable. All right, well, let's uh, spin this out. Ken, would Michelle rather have low self esteem or high blood pressure? Hmm. I'm going to probably say high blood pressure. Why would you say that, Ken? I mean, everybody... Don't like low self-esteem. Makes you feel crappy all day. Sure. That is correct. I don't think I'd be able to do my job if I had very low self-esteem. Uh, now... I would get on the microphone and i just like... Here's a better question for Michelle. Would you rather be high all day or have high oh. blood pressure? <laughs> Oh, my high blood pressure. Oh. I've gotten high once, and I did not enjoy it. I was paranoid, and I, d- I didn't know what was happening. I knew that would be the answer to the question, but it's far more revealing about <laughs> Michelle like, than it is for this I was, question. I, I did not like the experience. I, I was super paranoid, and then I was like, oh, this is fun. No, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. No. All right. And, uh, Ken, would Michelle rather no, have nine you. children or never be able to have any children of her own? <laughs> uh, that's a tough one. I'm going to say nine children. Ken, you flipping rocked at this. Wow, you got you, all of them correct. You know Michelle. I, I would like to just have children until a doctor says to me, if you have another child, you'll die. And then I'd be like, oh, okay, I guess I'll stop then. Well, I, this is something I didn't know about you. You've really become a Utah convert here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see you walking around Smith dragging have, a toe of children. This, this thought occurred to me when I was younger, maybe 12, 13, and I have a cousin who is Mormon. And this happened to her. She had children. She had like four, five, six, I don't know. And on the sixth one, the doctor said, you cannot have any more children. You'll die. And I was like, ooh, I'm going to mirror my life after you. All right, then. Ken, congratulations. Sounds good. Thanks. FML. Ben. Ben, how's it going, man? Good. How are you guys doing? Good. Oh, we're good. So I'm going to ask you a would you rather question. All right? Okay. All right. Would you rather have a third eye or a third arm? Probably a third arm. A third arm? Where would you want it to be situated? Probably on my back so that I could scratch it. Oh, that's a good idea. I think I would rather have a third eye. Really? Uh, but I would want it in the back of my head. Yeah, oh, and then so I could, could cover see. it. I could cover it with my hair. Yes, and I could see. What would you want to do, Dusty? Oh, I'm I'm definitely with Ben. I'd go for the third arm. Third arm? Oh yeah. So you could you could be so you could be so productive. Yeah. Why well, don't <laughs> I don't? But it would get in the way. Like when you're sitting down, if you have an arm in your back, uh, how would sitting work? How would driving work? She's got a point, Ben. That's true. But maybe I would. Uh, put it in a different location, but I mean, yesterday I was doing yard work and I could only do so much, so much with two hands. So right. that's And spinning would be a lot more fun. Twirling? That's, this is, these are girl things. Um, do, you okay. have, uh, do you have kids, Ben? <laughs> uh, no, just a dog, a chihuahua. 
Oh, a chihuahua. Okay. Well, that third arm would come in handy. You know, you could have your chihuahua with you at all times. You could hide the chihuahua behind your back. Yeah. In a exactly. raincoat. Well, cool. Ben, uh, thanks, man. Uh, Death Cab for Cutie, my friend. You've also got VIP parking courtesy of budget, truck, and car rental. That sounds awesome. I love Death Cab. They're going to ask me uh, three questions here, and it's just up to you to guess which way I'd go on the would you rather questions. So here's the example. I'm going to ask Dusty. Uh, how do you think Fook answered this question? Okay, so would Fook rather... Would Fook rather have his jaw wired shut for a month okay. or eat a whole pizza in front of a starving child? Oh, he would definitely eat a pizza in front of a starving child. Like, no contest. Fook? <laughs> I don't know how you got this impression of me. <laughs> what? I think when I, when I first saw this, I was like, well, is there another pizza for the starving child right. in the back? Like, yes. I could taunt him with eating the entire pizza, but I would like to feed him after that. If that is not the case, I would rather have, believe it or not, I would rather have my jaw wired shut. I don't okay. understand I not... what your answer is. <laughs> Why not? Because you said both. Sort what, of. what if you don't oh, know? I would, ra- I would, no, I would rather have my jaw wired shut than, than eat the pizza huh. and then say, peace out. Wow, you so, are a better man than Dusty, I thought you were. I'm you trying. don't get a point. Oh. And that's how that that's how goes. Think. And that's how the game works. Uh, who is playing Would You Rather? We have Jason calling us from West Jordan. Okay, okay. Cool. would Fook rather lose five current friends or have one new enemy? Uh, I think that he would rather have one new enemy. And why Why do you think that? Why would you want to lose any of your friends? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you Jason, win! Jason is correct. <laughs> nice. Now, I, there's no reason. I, look, I gather enemies like I do lint in my belly button. It, like, new ones pop up all the time before I realize it. At least having my five current friends would help me battle this, this new enemy. Yeah. Why do I want to lose friends? I'd rather lose for five current friends. Than we, have a new enemy. Shall the only admonition? Because I don't want stress in my life. The only admonition for this, and with, I move a lot with you, is that you're going to have to have five, which I don't. First I don't have any friends. <laughs> Burn. It's true. All right, let, let's <laughs> well, let's continue to uh, to spin these out here. All right. Would you would Fook rather receive a million dollars as a sure thing, or have a fifty fifty chance at one billion dollars? <sighs> let's do the sure thing. Um. <laughs> Really? That's actually incorrect. That's in, what I would uh, answer. In my case. I'd want the sure thing. Uh, here's why. A million dollars does not go that far these days. Okay. And it's still like, all right, you've got it. It's enough for college educations for your kids. And, you know, maybe you can buy a house with it, but you still have to work. Um, the billion dollars is F you money a couple times over. <laughs> That's what I want. Sheets, <laughs> I want to be able to do whatever I want, whenever I want, buy whoever I want. I want to be above the law. I want above the law money. <laughs> With the million dollars, you're just kind of like, I still have to do stuff at some point. I think you're crazy. I'd go for the million. Jason, what way would you go? I would take the million. I'm yeah. sorry. I would. Sure thing. Yeah. Yeah. Jason, I'm with you. You have to figure out how to properly invest it. <sighs> Whatever. Just give me the billion dollars. And finally, would Fook rather get a speeding ticket or two flat tires? I'm, I'm going to go with the speeding ticket. Flat tires are expensive. More than a ticket. He is correct there. The, the male mind has cor- correctly sussed this out. Now, <laughs> now what, if, what if the question is one flat tire? Uh, let's or a take speeding the ticket. ticket. No, because then you got the insurance in the long run. Let's just do the flat tire. I would do the flat tire. I take. I answered every single one of these <laughs> opposite of what Fook did. With two flat tires, you still got to wait for the tow truck guy. And, I mean, you can't go anywhere. I mean, it's that hour, hour and a half, two hours out of your time. Then two tires, yes, there's an expense to it. I'd much rather have the speeding ticket. One flat tire, I can change. But the speeding ticket, then your insurance goes up. You get points on your license. But I already have a billion dollars. It doesn't matter. Right. You have a 50-50 <laughs> chance at a billion dollars. Uh, Jason, you in. Uh, you're going to the Tastemakers event at the Gallivan Center. Sounds good. Thank you.